This is a speedometer model in Excel. It's a more advanced model than the previous one. The previous one had a lot of flexibility in changing the sizes of the digits and the, uh, the dial parameters. This one, it doesn't, but this one look, looks much more realistically, uh, much more realistic. Essentially, I took uh, images from the internet of speedometers, I deleted the original needle and I put my own needle. My own needle is, uh, has some formulas, some dynamic formulas, and you can uh, display a speed. You can change it from this button or you can use it in some other model. This is a speedometer number one. I'm not sure what car this belongs to. This is a speedometer number two from a Toyota Camry. I think it's a newer Camry. I have a Toyota Camry, but mine is a 99, 1999. This, is, this seems like a newer model. Speedometer number three. Oh, this is a, just a tachometer. It um, shows the rotation per minute, the uh, speed, uh, the rotational speed of an engine. Of course, it's times 100. Uh, number four is from some old uh, car. I'm not sure what it is. It has a fuel tank here indicator, but I cannot change that. I could have, I could have uh, given that uh, option, but you can change it yourself. Speedometer number six, uh, number five is uh, looks like some sort of European or I don't know why it, uh, Russian comes to my mind. I think I took it from some Russian site or something. Is taken from Flickr. Um, and speedometer six is, I believe, a Ford Crown Victoria. Um, probably an older model. This is the file you can download it at excelunusual.com. Here is the site. You can come here and type uh, speedometer and hit return, and you get. Um, this is the old model I talked in a previous uh, video. This one is the one we are looking for, a family of speedometers in Excel. We click on it and uh, it comes up. We can hit the Excel download and open it. Of course, I already have it open, so it will ask me to... Oh, here it is. So, uh, let's close this one. This is the old model we have minimize this. There's also a tutorial about uh, how to create this, this type of, of uh, speedometers. Click twice and uh, go back to go back to creating a speedometer in Excel part 1 tutorial. Hit the uh, PDF view and here it comes. It comes up. Uh, it takes a few seconds PDFs are pretty, bi pretty big. The first part uh, explains how to download the picture from a site called Flickr.com. You can use other sites. It's full of speedometer images on the internet. You can Google it. Then uh, it shows how to use GIMP. GIMP is a you know a poor man Photoshop. It's free, so you can do picture alt alteration. Uh, here I explain how to the, how the toolbars are positioned, what to use each toolbar for. And next page, um, a little bit more detailed information about toolbars and uh, tools you can use. It's the GIMP logo. Next page uh, shows how to effectively step by step uh, act on this uh, original needle in the picture to remove it. It continues in the next page. And finally, here is remove. You always will get some artifacts, uh, ar artifacts rem remaining. Now, click twice, go back, and go to creating a speedometer in Excel Part Two tutorial. Click PDF view again. Take some time to download. This is the second part of the tutorial. After we eliminated, I mean, we deleted the needle. We can create the need our own needle. This needle will be will have uh, adjustable parameter like width, length, and we have a tipping point here. And you can adjust uh, yeah various parameters. It will rotate of course a function of the speed. And um, it continues with the formulas, spreadsheet formulas and uh, shows how to implement it. 
in your spreadsheet and uh, how to put it, how to uh, to display it on a 2D scatter chart together with a speedometer picture you can paste on the, in the back. This is just a thumbnail. Um, here it says um, this one comes from Toyota Camry, this one comes from Fort Crown Victoria, and the other one's an unknown. Thanks for watching.